But for those of you interested in the sleeper train, this is one of four options while you uh, take a train in Vietnam. There's a hallway right outside. You get a light, your own personal light. Um, there's an outlet here and a little desk. And clearly this has been used by many other people, <laughs> including myself. You can either get uh, just a normal seat on a train where you're kind of sitting upright. There are hard seats, which are basically wooden benches, which are the cheapest seats. Oh my god, there's a mosquito. Ooh. There are soft seats, which are cushioned seats, and they recline. And some people opt for that because basically they recline as far low as like you could want. Like you could almost recline fully and the person behind you just has to deal with it because that's just the way it is here. And then there are hard sleeper beds which are basically uh, beds that are a little bit more firm than these guys that I'm in and I'm in the soft sleeper bed so I paid the most money and I know a lot of you love when I talk about prices but they vary a lot because it, it all depends on where you're going and what time of the day you're going so I can't really speak to like how much everything is but th in, in this situation I paid $355,000 